Welcome to today's episode, Tying the PS Spinner. Got him. Big fish. Good yeah. fish. Right now we're fishing a PS Spinner, and I had a nice fish out in that foam line about 40, 45 feet out. I got a good drag free cast on him that time, and he came up and walloped. Fish. Laying the thread base, we're using rust colored 8 0 unithread. And we're going to separate out some tailing material, micro fibbits, four of them. We're going to tie them quite long. Wrap those in, get them to the back, and we're going to divide them, two on each side. I figure eight in them, and there we go. But we're going to use an Antron dubbing, it's kind of a rusty color which will imitate just about any bug uh, good for Isonychias and March Browns, Hendrickson's, you can use this thing for just about anything and we'll tie it in a variety of sizes even down to the the tinies we'll tie it down to about 20 and just gonna bulb up a little thorax right there The way that we attach the foam on this particular pattern is important. We're going to bring it right on top and we're going to get two wraps and then snug them down. And we're going to leave it like that. And the reason that we're going to do that is because we're actually going to wedge our hackle down into that hole to give it a a uniform tie-in point. For this pattern we're going to choose two grizzly dry fly hackles that we've already picked out and matched. And we're going to clean those up now, get them ready for tie-in. We've stripped off the excess off of the bottom and opened up a nice little area here for us to tie this in. Now we'll cup those together and get them ready for tie-in. We'll bring them right to the side and snug them down. Now what we've made is, to get the scissor, is a little V-shaped hole, which is going to enable us to wrap this hackle right on top of itself, giving us a real nice clean tie-in point. As you can see as I'm winding it, it's not separating, it's staying in one place, and then we'll wrap forward. Tie that one off and remove it. And we'll wrap our second hackle right on over the first one. Now that we've got our two hackles wound, we'll sweep them back with our fingers and just clean up any loose fibers and make sure that we've got nice and tight wrappings over the stems and now it should be nice and clean. 
the next step to this fly is we're going to figure eight wrap this hackle into the form of two spinner wings. And the easiest way to do it is first to dub the necessary amount of material that you're going to need to finish the fly onto the string. So I've got about an inch and a half, maybe a little bit more dubbing on here. And then what I find the easiest way to do this is to lick my fingers and then just grab the hackles and give them a quick twist and a quick pinch. And then while holding one side, I just take a nice loose wrap around the foam. Then I'll come around the back and reach over and grab the other side and take another loose wrap. At this time, I should have it pretty well divided and looking pretty decent. And then I'll continue to tighten it up a little. thread, splay it out a little bit, then we're ready, if I like it, pull our foam back forward, clip off the excess, then we're going to really make a nice neat head on this, covering up all that foam, get that nice orangey head. And we'll get a nice whip finish on that. Now, we'll take a quick turn around. Sometimes you get a few loose fibers here and there. And we'll give it a nice little haircut. That looks pretty good. We'll spread them out a little bit. And that's our PS spinner. And at this point in time, this particular pattern probably accounts for the majority of the large fish our clients take each year. And we tie it in every mayfly pattern that we get on our local waters. Right now he's probably 75, 80 feet from us on that run. But now he's gonna play into our hands. He's starting to swim back upstream. I still think he's probably got another one or two of those runs in him. Shelly, that's it. And there's the PS spinner right there in his mouth. And he's a beauty.